is up my fluffy bun. So today I'm going to be try following Zoella's gingerbread cupcakes. So I'm not making a whole lot of cupcakes since I'm making this myself, but I'll link it down the recipe that I type it out for you guys. So the first thing you need is 150 grams of softened unsalted butter. Now I'm going to add 130 grams of sugar. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to need room temperature one egg yolk and room temperature whole egg, one at a time. I'm going to add two tablespoons of molasses since I don't want to do like a cup, but it's a little bit too much. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of molasses. So now I'm going to sift my dry ingredients, which I have 150 grams of all-purpose flour with one fourth teaspoon of salt. Mix it in, which I'm going to sift this right up. So now I'm going to sift one and a half teaspoon of ginger. Next, I'm going to sift one tablespoon of cocoa powder. Next, I'm going to sift one teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, I'm going to sift one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of cloves, which it is optional, which Zoa didn't add it in her cupcakes, but I'm going to add it anyway. And now you mix this right up. Then I'm going to add my wet ingredients into this bowl. So I use like a half cup of milk, one teaspoon of baking soda, and I simmer it until it has little bubbles in it. You want to put this in your bowl and fold this. You want to like preheat your oven for about 320 Fahrenheit for 17 minutes, then increase your temperature to 356 Fahrenheit for 3 minutes. I made these cupcakes and they're like fresh from the oven and you want to wait for like I think for 20 minutes just to cool them off before you put the icing on. So to make the frosting, you need softened unsalted butter 100 grams. So then we're going to need 50 grams of powdered sugar which has already been sifted but that is optional, but I just want it sifted. Then we're going to need one teaspoon of milk. Zoella's recipe, it calls for vanilla extract, but since I have pepper extract, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use like one tablespoon of pepper extract, but you can use either or vanilla, pepper extract, or use both, I don't know. So while I was like making the icing for the second cupcake, I kind of messed it up since the piping bag just like exploded or something. But I think I made this one a lot more better. Like look at the high expectations. So I'm not going to eat the prettiest one since it's too pretty to eat. But I'm going to eat the ugly one which is right here. And I'm going to try it. Frosting tastes like minty. I don't know, like medicine or anything. May I like put too much peppermint extract? Yeah, I'll put too much peppermint extract. Frosting tastes terrible, which I put too much peppermint extract. So I would recommend putting like a teaspoon pepper extract, not a tablespoon. So the cupcake, it was actually good. So I would recommend trying this recipe. Having another piece because it's really good, not gonna lie. The cake is really good. So thank you, Zoella. So give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below whatever you want. Hit that notification bell to notify from this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,
Please. Please.